We're now on page nine. We're looking at number 22, Little Robin Redbreast. Don't worry about the solo and 2D things now. We will work on that in class. For now, we're just gonna work on the notes and rhythms. So let's look at the first four measures of number 22. Let's look at that first measure. Let's review that first note is a ledger line below the staff. That's C, thumb one, two, three. And in the second measure, just below the staff, we have the D, which is thumb one and two. So let's say in finger the first four measures together. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Now. C, 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 D, hold, D, hold, E, 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 F, hold, half, rest. Now play that along with Tiffany. One, two, ready for measures. <laughs> rest. Now let's look at the last four measures. Let's say in finger together. Ready? Begin. G, 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 F, 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 E, E, D, D, C. Hold for four counts. Now let's play those last four measures together. Ready? One, two, playing now. Now we're going to play it all the way through. You can say in finger one time, back the video up, and then play another time. Here we go. One, two, playing through now. Half rest. Keep backing that video up and going through it, saying the note names and fingering, and then playing along. We're now looking at number 23, Skill Builder, Merrily We Roll Along. If you notice at the end of this line, there is two little dots. That's called a repeat sign. That tells us to go back to the beginning and play the line again. But while we're making these recordings, we're not going to use the repeats just for the sake of time. But when you practice, you can always do the repeats. So let's say in finger the first four measures. We have E, D, C, D, E, 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 hold, D, 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 hold, E, G, G, rest. Now let's play that together. Ready? One, two, play first four. Rest. Now let's say in finger the last four measures. Here we go. Ready? Now. E, D, C, D. E, E, E. E, D, D, E, D, C, hold, half, rest. And we're not going to repeat now. So let's play those last four measures together. Ready? One, two, play it now. Half, rest. All right, now we're going to play all the way through 23. I would suggest that you finger and say the note names a couple of times before you start playing along with the recording. So here we go. One, two, play it now. Rest. Rest. 
All right, and keep repeating that until you have that worked out smooth and even. Now let's take a look at number 24, Itsy Bitsy Spider. This is written in a round, but we're, we'll, we will do that round in class, but we won't worry about it now. For now, we're going to finger and say the notes for the first four measures together. So let's finger and, let's finger and say the first four measures. Ready? Begin. C, 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 D, E, rest. E, E, D, C, D, E, C, hold, half, rest. Remember, we can always re tell the difference in the half rest and the whole rest because the half rest sits on top of the line like you would have a hat that sits on top of your head. And the whole rest hangs beneath the line like a hole in the road as you're going down the street. So if it's underneath, it's a hole. If it's above, it's a half. So that's just an easy rule of thumb that makes it easier to remember which of those are the same since they occupy the same space. So let's play the first four measures together. Ready? One, two, playing four now. Half rest. Now let's say and finger the last four measures. Ready? Just starting at the number two. Ready, begin. E, 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 F, G, rest. G, G, F, E, F, G, C, hold, half, rest. Let's play those last four measures. One, two, playing now. Rest. Half, rest. Now let's play all the way through number 24. Would suggest that you say and finger this a couple of times before you start playing it. But here we go. One, two, here we go now. Rest. Half, rest. Rest. Half rest. Now re repeat that many times until you have it worked out completely. This is number 25, a la Rueda. If we'll look at this and look at the first two measures and then the fifth and sixth measure, you'll see that they're exactly the same. So as we work through this, we're going to practice the first four measures and then the last two measures and then put it together. There's no reason to practice five and six twice because you've already learned it. So let's say and finger the first four measures. Here we go. Together, ready, say and finger. E, 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 F, G, hold, D, hold. G, G, F, D, E, hold, C, hold. All right, now let's play that together. One, two, ready, begin. Okay, now we're not going to look at five and six right now because we just practiced it. Let's look at the last two measures. Let's say in finger. Ready? Here we go. Ready, begin. G, F, E, D, C. Hold for four counts. And we will not repeat for now. So let's play those last two measures. Ready, begin. As music that we play gets longer, we'll have a lot of repeated stuff in the music. So when we practice, for the sake of time, we don't need to, we don't need to practice the repeated stuff over and over. Once we've worked it out, then there's better use of your time practicing something that's new. So now we're going to go all the way through this. I would say in finger once, back up the video, and then play along. Here we go. One, two. Ready, begin.
All right, just keep backing that up and keep going over that until you have it worked out nice and smooth. Now we're going to look at number 26, Love Somebody Duet. Uh, we're looking at part A first. We'll notice that the first measure, the third measure, and the fifth measure are exactly the same. So let's say and finger that first measure. We have a C, E, G, G. So let's play that together. Ready? Now, C, E, G, G. All right? And then let's look at the last three measures. Let's, let's say and finger the last three measures. We have D, E, F, then E, E, D, D, C, 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 hold. All right, now we're going to play the last four measures. That way we get all the parts together. So we're going to play through the last four measures together. One, two, last four now. <laughs> All right, now we can go through the whole piece. So make, make sure you count the rest because it's important so it fits together with the rest of the duet. So here we go from the beginning. One, two, ready, begin. Whole rest get four, count. Whole rest get four, count. You keep repeating that. Now we're going to go on to letter B and work our way through letter B. Let's look at the first four measures. The first four measures, the first measure is a rest. So the second measure we can finger together. We have D, E, F. Third measure is a whole rest. The fourth measure finger together, we have F, E, D. So let's play those first four measures. One, Two, ready, now, rest, four, four, count. Rest, four, four, count. All right, now look at the last four measures. Let's say the note names and finger. Ready? Here we go. Now, C, C, E, E, D, E, D, hold. C, C, E. D, D, C, 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 hold. So let's play those last four measures together. One, two, begin now. All right, now we're going to play all the way through part B. Don't forget to rest in the first measure. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. Rest, four, four, count. Rest, four, four, count. You can play through that several times. You can play part B while the recording is playing part A or play part A while the recording is playing part B so that you can play the duet. This is Love Somebody Duet number 26, and you will be hearing both parts played at the same time. You can pick a part and play along and just keep repeating the video and switching parts. So here we go. One, two, ready, begin. All right, just keep repeating that video back and playing along 
sw swapping parts back and forth. Looking at number 27, Good King Wenceslas, you'll notice that the first four measures and the second four measures are exactly the same. So we're just going to work on the first four measures. So let's say and finger the first two measures together. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Now. F, 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 G, F, F, C. Now let's play those first two measures together. One, two, play first two. Now let's say and finger the third and fourth measure together. Here we go. Ready? Say and finger. D, C, D, E, F, rest. F, rest. Now let's play the third and fourth measure. One, two, ready, begin. Rest, rest. Now let's put together the first four measures. So let's say and finger the first four measures together. One, two, say a finger. Now, F, 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 G, F, F, C, hold. D, C, D, E, F, rest. F, rest. Now let's play those four measures together. One, two, first four, now. Now that we've worked on the first four measures, and, and the second four measures are exactly the same thing as the first, so we're ready to play the whole song. So I'm going to start the metronome. You can finger and say the note names a couple of times through it. Keep backing up and playing along as well. Here we go. One, two, here we go. All right, just keep repeating that. This will be a test, so it's something you want to work on section by section, and then put it all together until you have it worked out to where you're ready to play it for a grade. 